Hi guys, welcome back. Back for another episode of Something Delicious. Hi, I'm ready to poop. Nike, Scaramouche, Annie. The man is here. More important than me today. I would like us all to wish Anisopteryx a very happy birthday. Guys, it's Annie's birthday today. That's why I'm streaming. Holy 20 months in a row. The Sammy man. Hi, Cookie. How are you? Thanks, Sammy. We have, um, we've figured out a new subscriber sound. I'm going to work on that in the next couple of days. It's pretty awesome. How was your birthday today, Annie? I'm not going to ask you how old you are. Yeah, hi, pipe it up. <laughs> Is it gonna be the sound of sizzling bacon? We should make one of them, that. It was good, you could have done without the professional development, yeah. Too bad you're, you can't just be like, you know what? I'm professional enough. I don't think I need to be developed anymore. And just be like, peace. <laughs> or, you know, just be like, well, it's my birthday, so I'm going to take a sick day. <laughs> there are options. Yeah, exactly. Poking up broccoli leaves. Oh, cooking up for the first time. Have no idea how they taste. They're really nummy. They're pretty sweet. They're kind of just like every other brassica thing, like kale or so. Okay guys, we are gonna be doing a pretty quick stream today. Uh, all of the family that was here on the weekend that you guys maybe saw popping in and out, they are all gone. They left yesterday morning and then we have more family coming in tonight. So I don't wanna stream too, too late. That's why I thought the clubhouse sandwich would be a quick and easy kind of dinner and a great way to use up all the leftovers from Thanksgiving. So the thoughts on the club host is the turkey is smoked and we have pork belly. So usually it's kind of like switched around where the pork is smoky, AKA bacon. And then you just have like roasted turkey or chicken, etc. whatever you want to put in there for meat. So we're kind of doing it the opposite way around, but we're going to try and crisp up the pork belly still. And then just slice the turkey breast cold. I think there is still some. Otherwise, we'll just pull some of the leg meat that's left. You have an interview for Carhartt tomorrow? Nice, dude. You got some medicine and enough for the winter. Good. That's awesome. Okay, so that's what's going down. Here's all the lovely stuff that we're going to start putting into the sandwich. So Italian cheese bread from our favorite baker friend, Bradley. The smoked turkey that you guys saw being made on the weekend, as well as the pork belly. I pulled out some urban garlic cheddar to slice up onto there, because I feel like sandwiches always need cheese. Silly sandwiches. And then we have a really nice heirloom tomato. The last one of the season. So I thought that would be perfect to slice up for this sandwich. This ugly, delicious thing. And then just some greens. And I think I'll pick the rest of the basil from outside today and we'll make like a little basil mayo. Yeah, it's Sammy. In case we ever lose him, we just put him in neon. It's the safest thing to do, guys. True. <laughs> yeah, it works for New York. Exactly. New York was orange. Oh, yeah. Now he's yellow. 
Yeah, this season, I am so sad, Cookie. I'm really sad, but we still have all of this to use up for tomatoes. We still got all of these, which I am pretty happy about. Look at these delicious things. Lots of sun golds. So all of these are like ready to go. Sometimes I just walk by and like take a couple of tomatoes. And then these are the other Sakura. The garden really did its job and it's still going. I was like really on top of stuff this year. I'm really happy. There wasn't really any time where there was like an empty bed where I was like, ah, oh, I don't have time to like replant something. And then hopefully with the greenhouse, it'll be even better. Yeah, he glows. He needs to balance out the brightness of his smile. I love it. Okay, let's start getting all of the ingredients out. I will write myself the list just so I can keep crossing off stuff as we go. Yeah, literally, when if he's beside me on the camera, it like won't focus on me. Hi, Uncle Corey, how are you? You hung out with Sammy yesterday? When he was streaming? Yep. Yeah, Probably. Playing. I was doing gardening yesterday, catching up on some house stuff, stream stuff, all of that good stuff. You did toop. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> okay, so bread. Basil. Aioli or mayo, but we're very fancy here at Cook with Kate, so we'll, we always say aioli. Okay, turkey, pork belly. Oh no, you guys made him change. Sammy got embarrassed, guys. He's like, oh man. Bowel movements, yes, they are important. After that Thanksgiving meal this weekend, very important. Okay, tomato. You had a good one, Sammy? I had a good one. Nice. Thank you for letting us know. And cheese. Okay, so this sandwich has two, four, seven components in it. That's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, not holy crap, it's top hope. <laughs> Add honey. What's the honey for? Maybe we can do a basil and honey aioli. We probably will need that. A little bit of lemon in there. I always find that if you add, try and like make something out of store bought mayo, you always have to like add stuff to make it better. Oh, guys, I'm getting something Friday. Oh, yeah. So, we already got our wedding present from my grandma, which some of you may have seen her surprise on stream on Sunday. She didn't even know that the stream was running. But they overheard us talking about wanting to get the extra large big green egg. And so they get here on Sunday and like she right away just pulls Sam aside and she's, she's like, we want to buy you the egg. You need it. And then my set grandpa's like, yeah, it's covered. We're getting it. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay. It's amazing, yeah. I think they just really like all the food that comes off of it. <laughs> so every time we make it for them, they're like, okay, this is good. It's really awesome though. It's not big enough to roast a whole pig, but we'll be able to do like four briskets at a time. So then that will kind of bring us to a more serious route of like doing research and development for the food truck. So that's why we want to get it. So we'll have both. One just kind of for like steaks and vegetables and the pizza porta as well because we don't want to lose that attachment. So when we go to the bigger size, and that stuff's not going to work on it anymore. So then the big one is basically just going to be for like production, doing a lot of things at one time. We could do a suckling pig, just saying. No, that's a double XL. Double well, we fit. can get like a smaller one though. Fit. He says no. He says no, guys, and that's that. How far away do they live? So they are on the island here, and that is my last grandparent that is alive. 
and basically Sammy's grandparent that is alive, I guess. So all your other grandparents are passed away. And they just love Sammy. I mean, who doesn't though, really? Yeah, it, it might be the beard, I don't know. Ah! Yeah, this is what genuine people get. Yeah, small one is just a pizza one. We'll hook it up to our bikes and bike around and make pizza. Why are you doing this? Why yeah. is he doing this? Let's see how long you're taking it. Yeah, we will make it fit. Well, literally like the turkey on Sunday is like 17 pounds was the max. The turkey was like 17.8 pounds. Sam had to basically squish it in there. And so my dad's like, well, guess we need an extra large egg. <laughs> and G-Mom's like, well, I guess you guys need an extra large egg. So basically they're investing in our future, I would say, because I don't think that is ever going to break. Nope. Yeah, just install the small one on the trunk of the car. Exactly. Just put it on a trailer hitch. No, We're no, good no. to go. The large can fit on the, on the back of the car with the... Yeah. There's an eight carrier. Exactly, Scaramouche. And that's what we have done. It's like sometimes they've seen us cook some stuff on stream and they're like, if you're working downtown, can you bring us some tomorrow for lunch? And we're like, yes, yes we can. <laughs> Sammy has brought over some things. So we went to the restaurant supply store this morning as well, because we needed a couple things. So burger spatula, we needed this. That way we can like get the perfect smash burger going. A smaller ladle. I felt like that was necessary since we only have one big one. And then tongs this half the size of me. I'm guessing that's for when Sammy grills some really hot stuff up. He doesn't want to burn his hands. And then just these little guys. I didn't even know where these came from. I was like, oh, we got tongs too. Oh yeah, the bear came and visited us maybe about a month ago now. Maybe about a month ago. So what happened is I picked all the grapes, or sorry, first we had a pretty big windstorm and it blew some of the grapes off the vine and then Doggo stepped on them outside and like opened them up. And I was like, oh no. Like now that the grape scent is in the air, like I know the bear is gonna come for sure because it was the exact same time as last year. And so next day I pick half of the grapes because I was like, oh, these ones look really nice and ripe. And this is like a fair size for me to work with. It was five pounds worth. Ooh. And I was like, I'll just leave the other half that, to... Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll just leave the other half to ripen up a little bit more the next day i go out in the morning to pick some spinach for the smoothie <laughs> and i just hear like a little rattling on the fence because it's chain link so it was like tishing, tishing. and i was like that doesn't usually happen out here and i didn't turn the light on i didn't turn the light on because i was like oh i know where i'm going and so i look because it's right at the bed that's in front of the grapevine so let's say max like six feet away from me and I just see like little bear paws going down the fence. I was like, that's a bear. And I ran my ass inside. Do the bears look thinner? A hundred percent, I would say. They're pretty thin, but now it's Chinook salmon season. So they kind of got their fill of the berries and grapes and everything the last month and now that it's salmon season, they're back up to the river. And we actually saw a really interesting thing being posted on our Meanwhile in Souk page. So it's like a little Facebook page for our entire town for people to just kind of get a hold of each other and let everyone know what's going on. Is there was a group of about 50 people that went out last week and they caught some of the Chinook salmon to bring back to a hatchery so that we can have more salmon being populated in the water. So people are doing a lot out here to preserve the land and I love that so much. I 
mean, it could be a scare tactic, but in the area that we live, it's the highest population of bears black bear. or black bears on the island. Yeah, we don't get grizzlies here, luckily, just black bears. Yeah, overfishing is not good at all. So that's that. Okay, good catch up, guys. Yeah, yeah, we saw that it wasn't even really the overfishing, is that there are some companies here that like to do like river tours with jet boats, and that is what is ruining the salmon population. But I think everything kind of just plays a part. Okay, clubhouse sandwich. Yeah, that is smelling good. What did you blug? They're wondering what happened. Oh, so I just yeah, but what are you making? Oh, pastrami. Oh, Sammy's making pastrami. I'm trying to get it out of him. Because I already know what he's making. I'm just seeing what he's telling you guys. So Sammy's making pastrami with a big old brisket for our I'll friend. I'll get her. Yeah, he needs to get got sometimes. Yeah, making pastrami. 18-pound uh, brisket going in for 14 days. And we'll see it in 14 it's days. It's a we'll wet brine? It. Yeah. Probably be... Brine is wet, cure is dry. Sometimes they call the brines wet or dry as well. Yeah, wow. San Pastrami. He doesn't know. Don't tell him those things. Okay, back to our clubhouse sandwich. We need the bread. The turkey and pork belly is on the other side in the fridge. We have our tomato. We need lettuce and cheese. That is, might be possible, Scaramouche, to send it. Probably expensive, but might be worth it. Might just be. Okay, let us. Let us. Cheese. Cracker Barrel. Yeah, let us begin. I seriously used to say that all the time until people got upset at me. So thank you, Scaramouche, for as bad of a pun as it is, it has to be said. Every single time. got the bread. <laughs> no. I'm just happy you said it so that it can prove to me that other people say it too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are they what's going to happen if your mouth is full of pastrami? Come at us. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm back. Let me got this thing rocking. Turn that down a bit. Sweet. <laughs> Annie, perfect. Have I tried making wine? No. So this year was the first year that I even got to like work with the grapes because the bear ate them all last year. 
I am intrigued to make like wine and then at least even if the wine doesn't work out, then we can still have like vinegar afterwards. So it won't even be a bad thing. There would be enough grapes. I would say I would probably get at least 10 pounds of grapes to use. I don't know how much like wine we would get from that. I don't know. I also really love drinking cider and that's another one that I eventually want to make. I love ice wine. Holy smokes, it's so good. Yeah, is bear code word for Sammy? Does that mean Sammy ate all the grapes? <laughs> Buff, how are you? Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I think the most important thing to work on right now is just to make our basil mayo. Let's make the basil mayo so that it can like sit for a little bit, infuse with some flavor. I'm gonna pick the basil outside quickly. Yeah, it must be interesting to make it. I know that is from like the white grapes, so that wouldn't even work with my grapes because we have Concords, which is why I kind of just made grape jelly with it. I thought that would be the best use of the Concords because they're not wine grapes, right? They're more juice grapes. Okay, I'm gonna go snip. Snip some herbage, get that green. I'm here though, I got my mic on still. We had a couple nice days this weekend and now the rain is back, guys. Doesn't know what it wants to do. Ooh, this basil is really sad now. Okay, we'll get a little bit from it, but not much. And don't laugh at it when I bring it in because it's not green anymore. Don't make fun of my funny basil. <laughs> Still really fragrant. And that is it for that for the season as well. Sad basil. <gasps> don't laugh. Ha ha ha. Yeah, don't point. <laughs> it's spotty and sad. But it still smells really good. I didn't want it to go to waste, so we'll just chop it up really fine. That way we can get the most flavor out of it. Don't oof it. Oof is probably even worse, buff. Oof. You seen that thing? <laughs> Boom. Okay, let's chop it up. You can believe your eyes. Yep. Maybe I'll tear off this little bit from there. Anyone else cooking? Annie, what's your what's your birthday dinner tonight? Yeah, don't even look at it. Mmm, <laughs> chicken corn chowder and biscuits. That'll warm you up. It's not even worth mentioning. Okay. Is it just the wine? Is that why? <laughs> We won't judge you. It's the same thing that, same way that you guys don't judge my basil. Chicken korma with homemade poppadoms? Hell yeah. Was it dollar slices of pizza? Okay, you guys are like, owning me what I'm making for dinner tonight. The tables have turned. I should be watching you guys cook. What 
What's wrong with that, Annie? You microwaved instant noodles? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Do you guys see what we're eating tonight? Don't be embarrassed. Okay, we put the basil in the container. We'll mix some mayo with it. Enough to make leftover sandwiches for tomorrow. I noticed that I still had some extra Asiago in the fridge. Should we make it like kind of a pesto-y mayo? Should I put some cheese in the mayo? You know what, Torino? I don't make mayo. I don't use it enough to make it because it costs more to make your own mayonnaise and it also doesn't last as long. So I would like make it and then not use it and end up throwing it out and be like, oh, that's why I don't make mayo. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 bitties. Yeah, there's your money back. Woot. Woot. This might need a little bit of lemon juice. Lemony. And maybe I will go with the honey. I'm liking this honey edition. Could be good with the smoky aspect. Oh, yeah, it is. Actually, I love making mayo. We used to make like what, Sammy? Like 20 liter batches? Like 20 liters of mayo at a time in a mixer? Don't split that, because that costs a lot to throw out. One? Yeah. Like 10. Or 10 liters. Yeah. The honey bear. Slim pickings. Wait, you can't eat mayo buff? Is that what you're saying? You've not had it in that long because you don't eat it? I'm gonna do like three of these little bloops of honey. Should be enough. You can just choose not to. Interesting. Is there a reason though? I'm just intrigued by this. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of both salt and pepper as well. A bloop. Will you guys see how much I'm putting? So it doesn't make sense for me to like guesstimate like, oh, just put 1 12th of a teaspoon. I'd be like, what? Not good for the diet you're on. Oh, okay. Yeah, once you cut out all your other sauces, it's like, oh, mayo works really well. And then you're like, wait, this is like not that good for me. Yeah, we'll just add three and a half milliliters of honey. <laughs> Boom. This, I think, is going to be perfect. We are making like a basil, a basil, a basil, and Asiago kind of mayo or spread to use on the clubhouse sandwich. So there's basil in there that we chopped up, the last of the garden stuff. So that's it for the year. And then lemon juice, Asiago cheese, some honey, salt and pepper. I think that's all we did, right? 
I'm so ready for this sandwich today, guys. Mmm. It's nice and tangy. And then the basil hits you. It's kind of got like a Caesar-y feeling to it just because of the cheese in there. I really like that. I think it's going to go awesome with the meats in the sandwich. The meats. Okay, so that is good. I think we should keep that in the fridge for now. That's so awesome, Torino. I'm gonna miss basil over the winter. Oh, really, Annie? You just use mustard? I feel like sometimes it just depends on the type of sandwich you're making, maybe? Buff, you have not had butter on your sandwiches or toast your entire life? Oh gosh. Butter is definitely an ingredient that I don't think I could live without now that I have had it. <laughs> yeah, or if the bread is really dry, then you can use mayo. <laughs> hey. Yeah, hey. Hi, Zach. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How was butchering yesterday? Just that. Oh, just now. Just nice. Now, just Holy. Yeah. Yeah. Amaze. So this is all for jerky? Yeah. Sweet. These pieces look really nice. Guys, first of the season venison from Zach. He got a little buck last weekend. Mmm. Smells so good. So we're going to make jerky out of this. Yum. Okay, Buff, you have to tell me how to make this biltong stuff. Okay. Did you already send me a link on Discord and I just didn't look at it? Because I am so intrigued by this. Yeah, a rare bit. I don't think you have. I don't think you have. You did, like ages ago? I just scrolled up through all the links that you sent. I don't think it's there. I could be wrong though. Oh, that's really cool, Buff. Okay, carrying on. So we can cross off our aioli. Done. He posted on that page, so for all time, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's our times. Maybe? I've never seen them that big though. That's what I mean. And then you know that those couple that Cause I picked. Cause that's, that looks like what you picked. And I found a bunch of them again. But they're so strong in smell that you'd be able to tell right away. Like it literally smells like a pine tree. It's crazy. Okay, let's get into our bread. Okay, we'll have to do that, Buff, 100%. So the last of our Italian cheese bread from Beardo's. Can I get this to focus? There's our ingredients in our bread. Flour, sourdough, water, cheese, flour, salt, rosemary. I like those ingredients. I don't think we need anything else in bread. OK, 
Okay, boss. Let's do it. So Sammy said he wanted like thinner slices of bread. Also, we do have to get two sandwiches out of here, AKA six slices of bread. Very fancy. Yeah, everything that he uses is organic. So he orders everything. The site is called Organic Matters. Yes, Buff, you know what? This is getting me into sourdough and it's making me also want to like start making my own. As much as I love supporting him in his endeavor, I also, I still like to bake bread too. And now I have more time, right? Like that'd be a really fun thing to do on Sundays with you guys. A bit of a longer stream. Because sourdough really kind of takes all day if you don't need it. Because I do the no need method where you just do, what is it, three, three folds every one and a half hours. Yeah, who does that? This is thick. It's true, this is going to be... I get the baby sandwich. Guys, should we, should we pretend to make the baby sandwich for Sammy? Hey, aviator. Yeah, Amsterdam is still on the list for us. Coming up soon, I think. What if I'm still growing too, Torino? Okay, now, I guess I have to do something with my bread end container. It's pretty full, so I just put all of my bread ends in here to dry, and then I blitz them up to make breadcrumbs. So that's gonna happen this weekend. We're full now. Yeah, Sammy's got the beard to support. That's gonna be a sandwich. Let me see what I can do here with this. What if we like switch out one of these? Give them like a smaller inside piece that might actually make it easier to eat. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, put that aside. Moving right along. I think the turkey is already sliced. And I don't know if we can go any thinner than it already is. The crust makes his beard curly. Yeah, it's like an afro. Yeah, we're buff. Flex. Smoked turkey, check this part out. All of the skin off the breast. So we want the turkey cold and the pork warm. Stand there. The turkey breast cold and the pork crispy. Correct. Okay. A bacon chocolate shake? This is madness. Your brother made a chicken. You had so much other food, you didn't even eat it. Leftovers, winning. Torino, did you have a good Thanksgiving? That's still hot. Okay, get our pork pan out. Porky goodness. When I popped over to the other fridge, I already heard that our company is here. So I better get rolling. Got any tips for making dry, dry cold turkey moist again? I would say, buff, heat it up in like a skillet or a frying pan at maybe 250 Fahrenheit in your oven. You're gonna be Celsius, so I don't know what that is. 250 Fahrenheit, so a nice like low temperature. Just put like a little bit of water in the pan so it kind of like steams and just heat it up really slowly is one thing I will suggest. There's one thing you can do, whether it's like in a microwave or in the oven or on the stovetop, just go gently. 
or mix it with a lot of mayo. <laughs> but you're not eating that right now, so I can't offer you that. Yeah, the saltiness and like the crunch of the bacon, that sounds insane. Did you make that yourself, Aviator? Or did you get that somewhere? Yeah, dice it and put it in stir fry. Mmm. Guys, too bad uh, tryptophan wasn't an excuse to like stay home from work. Like, sorry, I just had way too much tryptophan yesterday. Be like, what? Yeah, I'm just really tired still. Yeah, this is not dry at all. And these are like thick pieces. So I think that'll be more than enough. So the last time that my family that was just visiting, last time they were here, Sam made them brisket, like two consecutive visits in a row. This time my uncle, he's like, Sam, forget about the briskets. Give me that smoked turkey again though. <laughs> we're like, seriously? Apparently it's life changing. Buff, you guys don't even do Thanksgiving? Oh, you guys did like Ukrainian Thanksgiving? Yum. I have not had that in years since I moved away. Pierogies, cabbage rolls, nalesnika, beet leaf buns. Amaze. Make a chocolate shake and drop a couple strips of bacon in. Simple as that, aviator. Turkey will just kind of let come up to room temp. Here are, oh, I see someone was into the pork belly yesterday because there was a couple of pieces on top. Somebody was into this, but this is the leftover pork belly. So we still have half of what we cooked left over. Somebody got into the pork belly. It wasn't Sammy. He would have said already that it was him. And plus he doesn't like it cold like this. But holy guys, this was so good. I'm really happy I made that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You must have got in through the window on the other side of the basement. Okay, Scaramouche. Thanks for popping in. It was so good to hang out with you today. We usually don't get you around for very long. I hope you have a wonderful night. You tried to do the bacon dripped in chocolate like the restaurants do, but chocolate burns and horrible smell and taste. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you ever want to do the chocolate bacon, just cook your bacon until crispy and then cool it off and then just melt a little bit of chocolate, dip it in there, put it back in the freezer so it gets all hard and then you're probably good to go. Yeah, this, freaking good. So it doesn't have the skin on, right? So that way, if there's leftovers like this, it's not a very weird rubbery texture once it cools down. I think for our pork, we'll go a bit thinner. And now that it's cool, it's so easy to slice with a serrated knife. Maybe I'll give you guys a close up. pieces per sandwich so I'll cut a little bit more 
for our lunch tomorrow as well and fry it up later. Okay, Buff, when we were at TwitchCon, like around the San Diego area, we went to the one Mexican market there. It's basically like a Mexican Walmart almost. <laughs> it was called El Super. And they had like a glass case, massive, like probably like this, split in half. One side was literally like a piece of pork, scratching is what you called it. I call it like crackling or chicharron, like this and this, just like piled up on the one side of the case. It's like, I'll take the biggest scratching you have. Or the other side of the case was all just like broken up pieces. Yeah, rinds, pork rinds, exactly. And it just had like heat lamps shining down on it. I was just like, no way. Yeah, there's so many names. <laughs> Potato cam. <laughs> Oh man, Annie. You, one of those people that remember those times. Buff was there for those times too. It's always, I don't want to say like funny, but it's always awesome to see where this stream actually came from. Cause it was not very good at all when we started. But you guys still stood by me. And obviously there's a reason for that. And that is why I never stopped. Because we all have to start somewhere, right? And I've always believed in like slow and steady work. Gives you more progress than trying to like rush into things. Yeah, basically like a whole pig crackling. Insane. You were brought here from LA stream? Ah. LA was like one of my favorite people I met at TwitchCon. What a gentle soul. Yeah, I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> Typical buff. Typical. Okay, pork fire pan. We can cross that off. We have our bread, turkey, pork belly. Tomato, lettuce, and cheese is all that is left. So let's take out our lettuce. This is what I did yesterday. Salad. Pick the last of the greens from the garden. I think they're gonna be a little bit bitter. I'm gonna give it a taste. So maybe that's a good thing that we put some honey inside of the mayo. Aw, from my stream, you met a billion others. Yeah. Like when we first started streaming, cooking streaming was not really a thing. This has a very interesting flavor. It's like very herbaceous. I'm trying to figure out what it is, but I can't. Like, Think about this. What did Tabatai started six months after me? No, three months after. Or only three months afterwards. And I feel like after that, like the cooking streamers really, really blew up. It's not Rocket. TwitchCon happened in September again. Yeah. Right. Before TwitchCon, that food and drink was created? Mm. Or just That's after right. TwitchCon? I think, I think food and drink was created in like July. I want to say July. So Buff, this is just like mixed greens, but they bolted. So they have like more of like a vegetal, if that makes sense. Like more of like a green leafy kind of flavor than like lettuce usually does. Lettuce is more just like kind of juicy and substance. This actually has some flavor. Yeah, similar to Rocket, but all of the arugula went to seed super early, so I just picked it out. 
because once it goes to seed, it's really bad. Okay, so it looks like we have two tomatoes here, not one. I'm gonna try to only use this one. It's the ugliest tomato ever. But hey, it's heirloom, and this is usually how they are, if I'm being honest. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this weird stuff away and then slice it up. I think that where we had the heirlooms growing this year is there wasn't quite enough sunlight, so they did this weird thing of like growing into two tomatoes instead of one. But two is better than one. Yeah, salmon. Still nice and firm though, which is good. Cause it means it's not gonna like make our sandwich really wet and soggy. And this is how it should be. So this is the color that it is when it's fully ripe. Oh, you're waiting for me? <laughs> it's good. Whew. That salt Ooh. almost got me for a sec. Whew. Okay. Nice big tomato slices. Yum. Look at that. Yeah, just a spoonful of sugar or brandy helps the medicine go down. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat it. This tastes like chicken. The tomato tastes like chicken, guys. How did you snap three knives? Three? What? I don't hate you, I'm sad for you. That's all. Yeah, salt on it and eat it. I bet you it does taste really good with salt on it. I'll put it on the other couple of pieces that we have. We were supposed to go for pizza tonight, guys. And you know my feelings about pizza but i was like i have to stream and also use up some of the food mm. it made it so much more sweet nike okay let's get into our cheese cracker barrel sammy bought this when it was like on sale a while ago and we just stuck it in the freezer until now. That's a life hack. Buy your cheese on sale and then freeze it for whenever you need it. Two filleting knives and a cleaver. I still remember the day when Sam tried to cut through a short rib bone with one of his knives. The whole blade after was just like scalloped and we almost both cried. The cleaver was on purpose because you lost your temper breaking the second fillet knife. <laughs> yeah. ah, that's impressive. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you break a cleaver? This is kind of sticking to my knife, I'm worried. Oh no, guys. What's going on here? 
Uh, I guess we have to eat it. We'll retry. Mmm. That's gonna be really good. The pieces of turkey are really big. Okay. I also have okay. more cut up here. You had a rush on and you were filleting fish? Nuts. I've never seen anyone snap a blade before. What's this I'm eating? Cheese? Try this knife with the scallop in it. Hopefully it doesn't stick. Urban garlic cheddar. I've never had this one before. It's actually quite delightful. If we can end up slicing it. Hey Relic, how are you? This is like a very not fancy cheese, but it's perfect for sandwiches. Sammy's doing up his brisket in the background. I feel like the freezing might have had something to do with how this is like crumbly. Or it's also just because it's a white cheddar and those are usually more dry than an orange cheddar. I'd say a little bit of both on that one. Nonetheless, we got cheese and that's all that matters. Yeah, this kid, you don't get that brand here. This is like a very North American brand. It's like the brand that you'll see on commercials here. Cracker Barrel. And if I look at the photo though, this already looks a little bit crumbly. So I think we're okay. I think it's just how it's supposed to be. Busy with college. Oh, what are you taking, Relic? <coughs> yeah, it's very mature. Sammy's got pastrami. Yeah, the beginnings of pastrami. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Get easy with the meat. Just biltong the whole thing. You're nuts out. Okay, we got all the things. We got our bread. Basil aioli is just chilling in the fridge. We have our turkey. Pork belly is sliced over by the pan. Tomato, lettuce, cheese. Those are my ingredients going into the clubhouse today. Accounting major? Oh gosh, kudos. I could never do that. Mouse turd cheese? Wow. You literally had to use a chainsaw buff. Because <laughs> it was just so hardened after drying out. Okay, I'm gonna start toasting our bread. Grandma's toaster, guys. Let it be known, there's so even good. a window. I'll so set good. it up for you guys here. Don't let us burn the toast. You let it dry, yeah, just a little too long. One minute with a chainsaw. Oh, is that wood shavings? No, it's meat shavings. Crazy. Okay, I'm turning on our pan for the pork belly as well. 
Yeah, don't burn the lettuce. This is down, by the way, guys. Just our bread doesn't fit in. Wonder whose fault that is. What? Not the chef's. It's the baker's fault. <laughs> Sammy says, what? Not you, Sammy. He's always like, what did I do now? What is he getting in hex for now? He's hecking. Nom nomming on the lamb chops, love it. Don't even be sorry. Yeah, you get to Are see the finale. What the hell happened here? Sammy versus Big. Sammy gets in. You guys see the cheesy pockets? They're starting to melt. Okay, that's our first round. Second round. God, Torino. <laughs> Hi, Essa. How are you? Yeah, pretty chill stream today, guys. Tomorrow, I think we're doing bow buns on stream together. Yeah. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Sammy and I will be at work tomorrow. Yeah. So we have to get a family member to cook the pork for us all day. Mm, I don't know if we've showed off the entire collection before what? of knives. Mm -hmm. Like Sammy has a few more in his bag. I have a couple more in mine. I only have a slice. Or Actually, I might only have like a couple of different pairing knives. Stuff is down there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, maybe. We don't have that much more buff. Here, we're going like half toast. And then that way the Look. second toast won't take as long. Yeah. Why is this smoking? Cheese is burning. Yeah, not a cereal, cereal killer. It's just a chef thing. It's true, man. It's true. <laughs> yeah, kick that back under there. No one needs to see. You seen Dexter? Oh man, today we made a Dexter room at work. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't know if where you guys live, you have like texture stuff on the ceilings. So because of the flood, the water came through and we had to replace the drywall and put the texture back up. And it's super messy because it comes out of like a gun. So you like spray it back up. Yeah, popcorn ceilings, exactly. Should be banned. I agree. 100%. <laughs> Sammy says 100%. So we had to put it back up. So we made like a Dexter room today with like the little area. Because if you don't, so the first time we did it, we didn't Dexter the area. Took like hours to clean it up after. Yeah. So we learned our lesson. Two and a half, Sammy still remembers. He's scarred. Hey, we're gonna pop over to the stove real quick because this poor fella. You had to do that, Annie? Was it a pain in the butt or what? Okay, pan it, it should be hot. So when I drop this in, it should sizzle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you scrape it off. So that was like my job is I do like a lot of the prep. So 
so I'm the one that like scrapes it off and gets all messy. Yeah, it would not come off. 100% joint compound. <laughs> wow, one had no popcorn. I mean, it's not actually that hard to scrape off and then repaint over it. So if you're super sick of it, that is an option. We don't have like popcorn. It's it's a different way to do it where you use a trowel and it kind of makes like, mm, like a striped kind of animal shape. Yeah, now I want popcorn. <laughs> Buff. Oh, there's no grading on your birthday, Annie. What are these people doing to you over there? Okay, no, but seriously, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Take care of yourself. Have more wine for Sammy and I. Have a glass for us. Yeah, you procrastinated. Okay. Okay, I feel you. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, the amount of fat that's already come out of this. Yep. How to season your cast iron pan. Just cook some pork belly in it. I'm gonna turn that off. Cause these are super thin pieces. Kind of made it bacon-esque. Whoa, God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I've had that pop in like my actual face before. It does not feel good. Or chestnuts, or chestnuts yeah. <laughs> She's fighting back. It's like, you can't cook me that, <laughs> that easily. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Cookie. I thought I'd be safe. Okay, move over, toaster. The real star is coming in. Clean up the area. Yeah, this is looking real good. Watch your face. Just a nod is all we can really do here. Yes, yes, this is okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm gonna put this aside for a sec. Oh, yeah, ramen with it. Chashu. It basically is chashu. It's just not rolled. I think we're pretty much there, buff. Okay, so what have I done here? I had these organized before, so that's my middle piece. I think I get this one. That's the middle. This is the middle here, and those are Sammy sandwiches. Yeah, puzzle time. What are we doing? We're putting the spread, first things first, on the bottom. I'm gonna put a fair amount. This bread has been around for a couple days already. So it might be a touch dry, but nothing that the pork belly can't help with. And I think we should also do it on the middle one. Our basil Asiago aioli, because cheese is always a good thing. Yeah, Sammy totally is. He's playing Zelda. Okay, next. Okay, do we do meat layers on the bottom? Or do we do vegetable layers on the bottom? Sammy, uh, we need help. Tomato, bacon. Tomato, what about the lettuce? Oh, sorry. Lettuce, bacon, then tomato, chicken. Okay. So 
See, Sammy knows, guys. This is why I need him around. Lettuce and pork, and then tomato and turkey. Or chimkin. Or chimkin. Yeah, I would have done lettuce and tomato, but I like this better. Kind of mixes it up. It smells so freaking good. Yeah, kimchi with the pork, like a stir fried kimchi rice bowl with this pork on it. Cut it in like a little bit bigger chunks. Crisp it up on the outside. Yup. We got options, guys. Now that the pork is warm, I think we should cheese it. I think this is where our cheese should go. That way it's safe. Can get a little bit melted. These are gonna be so messy. I can see it now. We're gonna need a bib for sure. I can move this madness up. Okay. Middle. You might have to trim one of these. Tomato. I'm gonna like slice this one in half. <laughs> this is gonna be so messy. Okay, we have to eat this on stream. <laughs> Just to see what actually happens. You know what, Buff? I do have a torch outside. But I don't know, we got this like interesting kind of hot hot and cold thing going on with these sandwiches. Like we have warm bread and warmed pork, but then the rest of the stuff is cold. This piece of turkey won't even fit on mine. I'm gonna do a bit more spread feel like it's necessary. Yeah, we will make it fit. I don't know what is gonna happen here, really. Really, really. Hey, XYZ, how's it going? Hey, we did it. We'll put the really nice one in front. Double clubhouse trouble. Are you ready for this, guys? Take a quick photo and then we be munching. I'm actually quite hungry today. I guess I didn't feast enough this weekend. Not quite enough, really. It looks better that way. Definitely has a, a nice lean on. We're gonna cut it in half, totally. 
I want to take both of these together for one pick. Leading tower of you, Nike. <laughs> Let's get our serrated knife back out. I mean, usually clubhouses have toothpicks in them. fairly decently. Those are some layers. I see a lot of bread here. A lot of bread. <laughs> yeah, why is the olive on the toothpick? Okay, we're not going to know until we try it, so I'm getting into mine. Sammy already knows his is ready. Yeah, the bread is freaking delicious. There's no need to even rinse off my hands for this. I'm getting in it. Really good. I'm happy with that. That's a Sandy. Mmm. Mmm. This spread is pretty salty because it's cheese. You'll be okay. That is really good, actually. Oh. He's here. Oh. Ah. I'm losing my pork. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah, pickles are always a good option too. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. You get just enough smoke from the turkey that you don't miss the bacon. Yeah, at a push. You might be pushing it by adding bell peppers. We did good today. We worked really hard and like finished a little bit early. So I think we totally deserve these sandwiches. Mm-hmm. He called up today when I was downstairs. He called up? He called the lady to open the door to bring up the texture stuff. Mm. When I literally was at the door. Hi, Dust. How are you today, man? Good to see you. You know what? Minimal cooking today because once again we have family visiting, a whole new crew. So I thought I would do a pretty easy stream so that we can actually spend time with them a little bit later tonight. Otherwise I would be like cooking way too late and then I'd have to clean up and stuff. We're an hour early. Yeah, usually I finish around like 7.30 or 8.00. Thank you. We love Sammy streams. Buffs feels like he needs to send you more shirts. That's right. his one and only one. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> that's all you ever see him wear. That's like his pajama shirt. 
So he literally like wears it for a couple hours because usually he's shirtless other than when he comes on stream. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else lives like this, but this is my fiance. I have a whole other half? Yeah. Yes. Ah! Yeah. Hello? Yeah, we're just eating. Oh, okay. Are, were you streaming? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, okay. we're just finishing up. Are you guys going or? We're, well, Stoke is closed. She's no. Oh. So we're just going to go to Route 14. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Okay, I didn't know you were streaming. Okay, Papa, come on. You're not eating. Seent. Schmoop's like, I got crumbs. Come on. Can't do nothing around here. <laughs> no, I, <don't> <laughs> I told you guys. See? We're already getting bugged. Well, I'm happy that I made these since they didn't get to go for pizza. QWERTY? You get sent stuff all the time? What? What is that? Yeah. Oh, you're just streaming? <laughs> you're nah, bad, <laughs> Nah, I mean. Parents will be here until they die. Mm -hmm. But we have my aunt visiting right now from the other side of Canada. And she will only be here until t Thursday. And we still work tomorrow, too. Well, my parents do live upstairs, guys. Like it's a house with a basement suite in it, so we do live with them. So they will probably be here until they pass away. That's kind of the plan. I don't think they're moving anytime soon. So I'm gonna come out with like 85. Wow, Torino. Yeah, they, they literally live upstairs. Mm -hmm. And so we pay rent to contribute to a mortgage to a house that m could be in our future. I thought it was better than just paying rent to somebody I don't know. Buff, you think Sammy would like it? Okay, we'll have to check it out. Q. Yeah. Oh no, did I get a hair in it? Yeah. I'm sorry, dearie. Q. Q Worty. Still love you. You still love me? Okay, I open the browser. We'll check it out after. <laughs> she disowned you guys. 100% does. 100%. Parents have been upstairs. Oh. For around, at least. Mm -hmm. I have a really good relationship with my parents. And so does Sam. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Grandma watches all the time too. Yeah. They're cool with us doing the stream? Totally. Wow, that's crazy, guys. Mm-hmm. Some family are just weird. It's true. You can't pick them. That's the part. And then you grow up and you're like, oh, this person is interesting. Yeah. Imagine if they jack my sandwiches. Never. Who jacked your sandwiches? I'll clap them. Wow. Showing all your new toys today? Mm hmm. Everyone gives somebody a beaver tail. You heat this up in a cast iron or a barbecue, slap them. What the hell? <laughs> Who is 
is this guy? <laughs> yeah. This is Sammy before I knew him. These are my long tongues. He's getting so in touch today. Those are his long tongs. What they for? Grilling. What stuff? Steak. <laughs> Steak grilling tongs. Hey guys, we gotta go say hi to Monocle. You guys might remember her popping in chat before as well. The one and only Monocle, that's the one who's visiting. That's his roach clip. Okay, who are we gonna go raid? And I'm not gonna say sorry for doing a short stream because we all have stuff going on in our lives. I just hope you guys appreciate that we did appear today and we will be back tomorrow for a little bit of a longer one, promise. Okay, who's, who's on right now? Dust God is mage to 18. Nice. I have not played at all. <laughs> yeah, you have not played. I've He's on a Zelda Breath fix. Pumpkin chocolate French toast from Bohemian Breads. I think that's what we're gonna do. Or, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go see Bohemian Breads. Excuse me, I have hiccups as well. Aw, oh, thanks guys. Yeah, we will be back tomorrow doing like pork, slow roasted pork boughs. It's like a bunch of fresh stuff from the garden. It's gonna be really tasty. Actually, we have like three consecutive streams this week because we're on on Thursday too. Yay. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Take care, we love you. Get ready for this raid. Let's go show some love. Spread our community around on Twitch. Bye everyone. Okay, night guys. Night.